Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited because I'm going to be reviewing my bippity boppity box. And I'm super excited about this box. I did wait a long time to get it. I placed my order in at the beginning of February thinking they would send me February's box. My box didn't ship out until March. So I don't think I got my box for like five weeks. So it was, uh, I guess, poor timing on my part. I figured they would just send me the box of the month I subscribed, but they didn't. They waited until the following month. Um, so, oh well. I'm super excited to try these boxes. The only other Disney subscription box I have tried was Walt Life, and that box was not great. It was, I remember just, it was very expensive, and we specifically picked a box that was gender neutral, and I got a lot of things that were only specific to females or like males so so I wasn't happy with that box and I reached out to customer service and customer service was just awful so I know Walt Life doesn't have the best reputation out there and I can vouch for them for not being a great company for the consumer so I wasn't happy with Walt Life and I really wanted to try another box and so I was super excited to get it um, I was a little thrown off by the Halloween themed pattern on the box because it is February already and this was technically March's box so it did take me it did yeah take me by surprise to be getting Halloween stuff out the box is cute I would have wished to have seen what like the spring box looks like <laughs> it's good just walking around so let me show you what I got and I'll show you the inside so the inside is nicely packaged and nothing came broken, so let me tear this, tear this open. And so the box is nicely packaged, super cute, and I'm excited to see what's inside. <laughs> so let me tear this. So the first thing I see in here are ears, and these are super cute. Um, this box was supposed to be like a gender neutral box, but I did write in my preferences what my favorite characters were, what my favorite rides were. Um, so I was excited to see what they were gonna send me. A $30 value. I, I don't remember seeing these at the park, but it does say a Disney park exclusive and it does have the little Disney tag. So I love mini ears. I do wear them when I go to the parks. Um, so let me just put these, these on for the rest of the video just to you know test them out so the next thing I have in here is a Abominables Everest Summer Tours pin from Expedition Everest and um, this one also does say it's a Disney Parks Resorts exclusive did fill out our preferences with this ride with the Everest ride from Disney World so we were excited to get these pins it's nice that they listened to our preferences and they did put something in there that we actually that we wanted and so the last thing in here this was just a three item box and I feel like the box is a little bit big for the three items but I guess it has to fit the ears so and our last item is a little soap it said from Basin which is the store at Disney Springs at Walt Disney World. And as a soap maker, I have to say I'm not happy with the quality of the soaps from Basin. They're just not very moisturizing on your skin. And it's because of the process of how they make the soaps. They're just more for looks than actual skin benefits. So I'm not a fan of the Basin soaps. I have purchased their soaps in the past and they're super cute and they smell really nice, but they don't really do a lot of good for your skin. So I'm probably going to be giving this soap away and I'll be giving some of my soaps away too, my Ollie and E soaps. So if you want to be entered into a chance to win either of them, just leave a comment down below. All the rules and the details for entering are in the description below. This box, I have to say, is just exactly the price of what the items are. So it's not really a value box, it's just more of like a surprise goodie box. So if you're looking for this box in terms of value, this isn't a good box for you. But it's a cute box, it's fun. I feel like if you have the money to spend, um, I think this box was $50. This box is not a value box. You're basically paying for the items that are coming in here. You're 
you're paying full price. And I would recommend this box if you are looking for like a lot of Disney stuff. Since I did basically pay full price for these items, would I have rather purchased them myself at the parks? Probably. So since I did pay full price for these items, pretty much, would I have rather paid full price for items that I wanted and would have been able to pick out myself? Probably. It was fun to see what was going to come in the box, a nice little surprise. And it was nice to give another Disney box a try because the only other Disney box I've had or tried or purchased was the Walt's Life box and I was not happy with that company, not happy with the brand. So this box was different. I am happy. I do feel like they curate the boxes better to your preferences and maybe that's why it took so long for my box to ship. But I don't think I would be getting another Bippity Boppity box in the future just because it's not a value for me and I would rather spend the full price. So get this box if you're away from the parks and you want just a little monthly Disney surprise or even like a, a quarterly Disney surprise and you can cancel online anytime without having to jump through any hoops. I do appreciate that as a consumer and yeah, let me know if you've had this box, if you have one of these boxes in the past. Let me know what you think about it and let me know if you have a better box for me. If you have a box that you want me to review in the future, I will be more than happy to purchase that box and give you my honest review. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for supporting my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.